All right, guys, I'm back out here again to do a little bottle walk. Spot that I hit last year. I have not been here yet this year. It's late in the year. The water is actually pretty clear. But I do see my first bottle down here, and it doesn't look modern. It looks like it could be an ACL. You know, I feel bought and bossing. Uh, this bottle not to be sold. WH Dunn, bro. Wow. And I see no damage at all. Uh, I'm actually going with the current, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'd like to go down. I prefer to do all my hunting against the current so that as you step, it all floats past you. So this, this looks like a good spot to really slow down on the way back. And we are going to do just that. And I don't have my kayak today, so I'm not really going to be able to take out much trash, unfortunately. But if I'm finding a lot, I'll definitely come back here. That's awesome right there. Should be blown in a mold. All right, we'll be back on the next find. All right, I see a little bit of stuff here. See this bottle sticking out. Let's see what that is. All right, that's just a broken cup. And then over here, I see a little medicine bottle sticking out. Chamberlain's Colic Cholera Diary Remedy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. It's embossed. It's a diarrhea remedy. Oops. Under a tree. Alright, that's a good find. Stuff could be washing out of the bank. So I'm definitely going to go slower on the way back. I don't have too much time today. Just a few hours. Sometimes that's all you need. deep there. All right, we're back on the next one. All right, as I'm walking along here, I just snagged another beer bottle. It's another one of those Hoster Columbus, Ohio's. I think it's going to be one of the more what everyone that I found has been so. It's nice to find some stuff right off the bat. It takes the pressure off. It is slightly hard to see. There's a lot of ripples. And of course, as soon as I get in here, the sun goes behind a cloud, so... That's par for the course. It's supposed to have some rain moving in at some point, any time in the next couple hours. So I'm hoping I can finish this before getting rained out. But cool, we'll take it. Uh, right about over there. I just seen a glint of a bottle of what I thought was a bottle sticking out of the silt. So I ran my foot across it and sure enough it was a bottle. So we got a milk, some beers. 
Now all we need is a nice soda. And I don't think I found this in a pint size yet. So that's a great find. Get this thing put in my little satchel. Looks like a bottle down here. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's buried. Oh, it's a mason jar. I can see bubbles in it. This might be the oldest one I've ever found. Oh yeah, it is. Heck yeah. Man, I really should have brought a backpack. That's crazy. Just goes to show you, man, these spots don't replenish themselves. Oh, I smell something dead. I hate that smell, I'm avoiding it. <laughs> Hopefully it's up on that bank. Alright. Great hunt so far. Alright, I got another soda water. Nothing special about that, but check that out. I think I see an insulator. Probably just going to be a Brookfield. I'm only going to take it if it's unshipped. Oh shit, I think that... Sorry, I got distracted because I think a crawl dad just went into my shoe. Something went in there. I feel it moving. All right, maybe not. My bag is already getting full, so I may have to leave some of the stuff behind, such as that uh, Coke bottle. But if not, you'll see it in the wrap-up. All right, I'm almost back out. I just picked up a little cream jar. I see this bottle here. It looks like it's going to be one of them tocos. Got that distinct shape. All right, that counts as our old soda for the day.
I think that's all we want to do right now. Let's see what that is. I'm just a broken. I found a piece to a broken straight sided coat, of course. My bucket lister still eludes me. But we had a great day. Just a little further left to go. All right, here's the results of that short but productive hunt. Like I said, that was a spot I've been to before. But that's the first time this year. Um, I didn't get to go as far as I wanted. I only had a few hours, and not only that, they were calling for rain, and it did eventually rain when I finished up. But let's check some of the stuff out real quick. We got this unembossed half pint flask. Little, probably makeup jar or something. Another soda water bottle. Uh, we got this nice little insulator. Beehive style. I'm not exactly sure who the maker is on it. There's no embossing, so I'm gonna have to look that up in the book. Probably Brookfield. And we got a Hoster Columbus, Ohio beer bottle. This one is machine made. Then we got another one of these Tocos, born in a mold. Pretty nice looking bottle. We did get a pint milk bottle. Sadly, it's got a lot of wear to it. You know, I don't know if these rings around it were caused by the current in the water or, or what the deal is with that. I mean, there's no chips or cracks. It's just got some wear to it. And then the two best finds. Got this awesome mason jar with the November 30th, 1858 patent date. And I know they made this for several years, but this is definitely one of the earlier ones because it's got a ground, ground lip on it. It's very, very crude. It's got a lot of waves in the glass, lots of bubbles, seed bubbles. Very happy with that. That's a, that was a killer find. And then the best bottle. It says W.H. Dunn and Bro, Hagerstown, Maryland. It's blown in a mold. Does have a little bit of staining, but there's really no rash to it at all. This thing must have recently washed out. Just a really nice bottle. So that was a nice productive late season hunt. I'm hoping to get out again here soon to some other spots that I also hit last year, but I haven't been to yet this year. See if see what else is washed out because. As loaded as some of these spots I, I went to last year, there's got to be stuff that, that was covered up by silt, rocks, what have you. And not only that, I got other spots. I got a whole list of spots that I wanted to get to this year. and I got to a lot of them, but I still got a lot left to go. So we're going we're gonna to hunt as long as we can. I have been doing some metal detecting as well. So if you enjoy the metal detecting videos... I'll just say I found some some good stuff for me anyway. I enjoy finding old stuff, so be on the lookout for those. But yeah, great little hunt. Only a couple hours too. And it's nice when you find a keeper right off the bat. Then you don't gotta worry, but everything else is just gravy. It's the cherry on top. Alright, that's enough talking. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I can't believe I forgot about this bottle. The Chamberlain's Colic, Cholera, and Diarrhea Remedy. That one might be my favorite bottle. I've never found an embossed medicine bottle yet. That's the first. It's not perfect. It does have a tiny little 
chip right there and it's got a flash crack in the top. But man, that's awesome. Now we're done.